Hey. <laughs> Where am I? What is this place? Ooh. Motel. Middle of nowhere. Any specific middle? Doesn't matter. You're not leaving here by yourself anyway. <laughs> Why are we here? Wanna talk about your little invention? Biochip you made for Arasaka. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arisaka didn't send you? No. This means you must have an offer for me. If your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk. <laughs> Nobody sent me. I got a problem, and you're gonna help me. And what does that have to do with the biochip? Got Silverhand's construct in my head. It's literally driving me crazy. And I know it's only gonna get worse. That is, unless I remove it. And that? None of that's on the billboards I saw. Not even in the Silver fine hand. Constructed. That's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? Clepped it off Yorinobu Arasaka. Job for a client. But the client left me out and to And you decided the best place for it was in your own goddamn head. Actually, wasn't a bad idea. Construct rebooted me when my own goddamn head took a bullet. I always knew Yorinobu's plan would fail. I just never imagined it would turn out like this. Arisaka's prized tech really is in the very streets of the city. You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, you slotted in a new, experimental version of the biochip. I know you can't just yank it out. My Ripper you said- You showed that to some fucking street doctor? Who else knows? I needed help. Or did you think the first thing that came to mind was downing a Kang Tao AV? Mm -hmm. How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more- Aware? Aggressive. The biochip is what's unique. Not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved engram. It was rare as fuck and cost a fortune. Yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial phase. Okay. How exactly was this new version supposed to work? Were you planning to have the engram kick people out of their own bodies? Is that shit by design? During the tests, we assumed that the body would be neurally indifferent during implantation. You mean dead? Yes, which makes what happened to you interesting indeed. Mm. How do you put a price on immortality? Who could even afford tech like this? Nobody. This model was meant to remain in-house. The prototype was Saburo Arisaka's personal commission. He oversaw the entire project himself. So if it weren't for you, Arinobu, nobody would have found out. <laughs> and if not for you, the project would not have been a success. This is a true breakthrough. A breakthrough, you say? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, great. Your tech works. Now get it out of me. Well, well. I would have to see it first. I don't trust you. Whoa, we just met. Haven't built up that sort of trust yet. How did you think this was going to go? If you want me to help you, I must examine you. Okay. Hmm. Unbelievable. It looks like... Can't believe this Seuss, the one who's gonna help uh -huh. us. Uh-huh. What is it? What? What is it? <laughs> what a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig, too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. What? <laughs> the only thing I could... Woohoo, <laughs> it's bargaining time is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Minimize. Oh my god. Yeah, no. 
Uh, that's no, that's not an option. But you said the project was in the trial phase. You don't actually know how it'll end. Oh, I do. I just saw the construct devouring your brain. It's programmed to take over its new environment. At all costs. And your little meat brain is helpless against it. So no matter what, sooner or later the engram wins. Yes. And from what I've heard about Silverhand, that seems to be exactly his style. Huh. I see my reputation's grown into Arasaka legend. <laughs> what exactly is going on in my head? You tell me. What's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You're both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. I see him. I talk to him. I can see him and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? Jeez, give it a rest. When it comes to my decisions, Johnny really is just a voice in my head. Maybe he has a different opinion, but he can't make me do anything. Agreed 100%. You are one fucking stubborn. It's not as if one of you wins the debate. <laughs> the scale simply shifts. Slowly but surely. What the hell do you mean? What do you mean? You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. And you know exactly who he was. A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomb. Well, fuck me. Who's trying to mess with your head now? Mm -hmm. That is why I believe it would be better for you to consider clinical isolation at this stage. At least Johnny never whored himself out like you. Are you defending him? Or is that Johnny speaking now? Oh, let me guess. He already tried to take over your body. You know, just for a little while. No. Would you, though? Could be fun. Johnny? Kidding. But watch out. Suit's getting ready to talk your head mm -hmm. off. You know what? That's enough. You just playing for time? Because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Oh, finally. I will try to help you. If you come with me to Kang Tao. You're right. I'll try. Just isn't going to cut it. Actually, it's almost like you're trying to buy your way in with the Chinese at my expense. Do you even realize how much data is in your head? Even if I can't help you, the data must be saved. Well, fuck me sideways. What a half-brain gunk. <laughs> you just admitted you're right. Mm -hmm. Forget Kang Tao. Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got to gunk's fucking useless without him. He... Takamura? What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice. He might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints. Better than nothing. Long as we find someone fluent in techno babble. Uh, <laughs> What'll you do with him? I haven't decided yet. Are you serious? You know me. I can be impulsive. He's all yours. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. That is certainly in your best interest. V, I will remember this. Ah, this heat. My throat is positively parched. Ooh. <laughs> See that? Fuck me. me. Just look at that. Unacceptable. Inhuman. That is not me. You will see that you what the hell's going on? You really are paranoid. You don't see it? Way corpse are stripping our world and lives naked, piece by piece? Can't turn a blind eye to that. <clears throat> Whoop! <laughs> 
So, Whatever you ready? gotta say, say it. Got something eating at your code, that's clear. Been trying to learn how you're wired this whole time. To know who I'm dealing with. Thought you were just unlucky at first. But I kept watching and finally realized what your problem is. You're a dirt girl from Haywood who found the guts to walk a few extra blocks from home. But turned out the best you can do is chase scabs for Annie's. You're a dick, you know. And you're a cunt. Maybe we'll fit together after all. You sure seem to know a lot about my past. Well, seen flashes of your past, just like you've seen flashes of mine. Mm. Honestly, I'm scared of the day I'll start seeing your memories as my own. Shit. If it's a two-way street, I'll somehow have to live with the fact that I let Deshaun best me. Fuck me over. Listen, will I notice the change? Or is it one of those things where I'll wonder why I ever feared it? Worst thing you can do to a human. Rip their identity out of mm. them. That's all I know. How you find life under my skin? Well, most things are either too big or too small. Not to mention the clusterfuck that are your hormones. <laughs> And the lag between sight and touch. Infuriating. When you take a bite of pizza, it takes ages before I know you fucking burn the roof of your mouth. Plus, used to be five minutes wouldn't pass before I had a fresh cig in my hand. Now I'm itching for nicotine. Getting used to it, I guess. But it's no fucking picnic. Can you just tell me what you want? What you really want? Help me settle my score against Arasaka. That's it. Gonna click all like I do. Hmm. Let's get out of here. Not having control. You can't stand it. Seeing some things are out of your hands. Don't be ridiculous, Pete. No, I've hit the nail on the head. Makes you anxious as fuck. Yeah, absolutely. Whole world used to revolve around Silverhand. <laughs> now, no one gives a shit. Okay. I'll tell you why I want to destroy Arasaka, but I'll only tell you once. Want to hear yes, it? Yes, I do. Yeah. All right. I saw a corpse strip farmers of water. And eventually of land. Saw them transform Night City into a machine fueled by people's crushed spirits, broken dreams, and emptied pockets. Corps have long controlled our lives, taken lots, and now they're after our souls. Might be right. Can't really argue with you there. V. I've declared war not because capitalism's a thorn in my side or out of nostalgia for an America gone by. This war's a people's war against a system that spiraled out of our control. It's a war against the fucking forces of entropy. Understand? Do whatever it takes to stop them, defeat them, gut them. If I gotta kill, I'll kill. If I need your body, I'll fucking take it. Fucking hell. No, real Johnny's coming you out. You still don't see it. But you will one day. Damn. Oh my god. Seriously. Right, let's go and uh, meet Mama Wells and say goodbye to Jackie. And then we will finish the play through here uh, today so that was really nice sort of main story section I really enjoyed it um, Panam is cool we're meeting some new good new characters which is great really really good and uh, yeah 
I'm enjoying it. The story is super interesting. I really am really involved in the story and uh, seeing where things go with it. The pool table, we got to get rid of it. Really? It's pretty massive. Okay. V, nice to see you. Okay, sit. Sit. You want a beer? Sure. One mind one. Salud. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Mm. I've been better. Been better? To tell you the truth. What is happening? That night when... When Jackie... <laughs> I should say. Things haven't exactly been easy since. Yo sé cómo te sientes. Todos lo sabemos. I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. Could help you with that? Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. An ofrenda? What's that exactly? <laughs> Friends? And family. We gather to celebrate the departed, our memories of them, and we bring things they loved in life and might need in the after. Sure, some beard be at the top of Jackie's list. <laughs> <laughs> and there will be beer. Want to take part in the ceremony, but want to do it the right way, in line with tradition. Mm hmm. But. Something I'd, I'd lay by his casket that would do justice to his memory. I... I don't got anything. But your heart... is in the right place, mi niña. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Jackie had a garage? <laughs> he used it for his motorcycle, mostly. Not so long ago, he moved in. You'll find something there, I'm sure. Won't mind me digging through his stuff? No, mija. He's gone, and funerals are for the living, not the dead. Toma, take the key. Thanks, Mama Wells. <laughs> ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. Ahí te veo. Mm. It's misty. Ivy. You here alone? This is not exactly the safest neighborhood in town, Misty. I used to sit on the stairs when I was 10. 26 now. If anything was gonna happen, it wouldn't have taken this long. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes, too. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just... Well, human. I guess. You know each other long? Half our lives. Grew up in the same streets. Oh, wow. Saw each other a lot, but just never got together. Till a year back. Yeah. Best darn year of my life. Jack talked about you a lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. <laughs> Maybe, but that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. Mm. What did you see in him? Let me tell you what he told me once. Told me he'd take a bullet for me. 
in an instant, even if it'd kill him. Spoken like a true Haywood boy. <laughs> a man with dreams, ambitions. Only thing they cost him was his life. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. How come you're outside? <laughs> I don't have the key. Jackie never gave you a set? You two didn't get that far. He offered, but I wanted him to have his own space. Just his own. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. Mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon. No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. Why? She wouldn't want me touching any of his things. Disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie'd want you here. That's more important. Come on. <laughs> 